Hello everyone and you are so much welcome to today's tutorial. I am Huduro Le Mojibola and today we're going to be learning how to create this beautiful basket with slide. I'm sure you want to know how the pattern is being created. I'm going to be showing us this in this particular tutorial. Please let me know in the comment section if you would like me to create a full video on how I'm going to transfer the pattern into the leather. Now I want you to know there's an ongoing beginners class. If you would like to join, let me know in the comment section. It's 3000 Naira. Now to to this walk sit back and i'm gonna be right back like i said earlier in the introduction we are going to be starting with our pattern cutting now i need you to know that the width i'm going to be using is 7.5 centimeter and i'm going to be using a length of 23 centimeter now this has to do with whatever size you are working with so as you can see 7.5 and on this side i have 23 centimeter now the next thing you are going to be doing is you are going to be dividing them into sections now the first division is going to be according to the width of your strap don't forget there is actually a gold strap that is actually interlocked into the suede leather so now the first thing is what width do you want to work with are you working with one centimeter then partition it into one one centimeter if you are working with 1.2 centimeter what well, just partition it into one one point two centimeter now it depends on you but i would suggest you don't use any width that is much more than 1.2 centimeter except you are willing to totally change the the design you want yours to be wider probably you can decide to make it wider but if not i think it's okay to make use of 1.1.0 or 1.2 now i'm going to be using 1.2 now this is what i mean now this is 1.2 around here the next one is going to be 2.4 2.4 the next one is going to be 3.6 so you keep adding 1.1 1.1 until you get to the final stage the next is going to be 4.8 so con i'm going to continue that particular side like that and do the same thing on this side let me quickly do this for us to see what i'm talking about this will be 1.2 the next one is going to be 2.4 we are going to be having 3.6 we're going to be having 4.8. So what you do is join the lines together. I think this is not looking well enough. Probably what I do here is not perfect. Let me use my square to correct it. I think I need to use my square to correct it. Good. It's not good enough. So it means what I measured is not, it's not long enough. So... Please pay attention to your partitioning so that it will be perfect. So let me just start from here. It means I would definitely have to ignore this. If not, I can use my square to still regularize it because this will help me to see perfectly where I need. So I'm just going to join the next one as well. So you can see, I'm going to do this all around this particular rectangle. Now, as you can see, I have already divided them into 1.2. The sections I've divided them. So what are we going to be doing next? I'm going to start from this particular partition. The, I'm now going to begin to divide it into sections for me to be able to, you know, interweave my beautiful basket weave it's actually a unique basket weave design you understand so let's just quickly go into that so the first thing i'm going to be doing on this first roll is i'm going to be measuring 1.25 i need us to see this so 1.25 this is one as you can see this is one and 1.25 is going to be in between here you just have to be accurate so that you have a consistent flow because after one the first calibration is 1.1 1.2 then the next one is 1.3 so between 1.3 and 1.2 is where we have 1.25 so i'm going to have 1.25 here let me use my pencil 1.25 on the side we need the same 1.25 here so you need to be very really very careful with this so that is where we have our first division that will be the first opening so as you can see this is going to be my first opening 
the next thing I'm going to be measuring is 2.25. Please, I need you to follow me so that you can get what I'm doing. 2.25. 2.25. So now that we have this, we are going to be having 2.25 is in between. Yes, yeah, so I have my 2.25 right here. And I'm going to come to this side and do the same thing. So I'm going to just join that together. So that is so the next thing I'm measuring is is 0 0.5. We are going to measure is 0 0.5. Is 0 0.5. So this 0 0.5. This is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and this is going to be this way. Now you can see what we have like this. The next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be measuring again. We are going to be measuring again 2.25. That's what we are going to be measuring again. 2.25 i need you to follow me please centimeter 2.25 now don't forget from here oh so sorry 2.25 so sorry for that you can see this we are from here to here is our 2.25 to this side so i'm going to place it right again here <laughs> For my 2.25 you can see this 2.25 i'm going to come here position it again and this will be my 2.25 you need to do this carefully now we are through with this particular partition so let's go to the next partition so now to the next one the next row what we are going to be doing is we are going to continue with our measurement but not on this same consistency we are not going to use the same measurement for this second row we are going to be using 2.0 centimeter 2.0 just like i did the other one 2.0 i'm going to join it together so after that 2.0 we are going to have a 0 0.5 please i need you to follow me so that you can duly understand how you are going to go about all of this so that is what we have. The next one we're going to be having is 2.5. So we're going to have 2.5 in between. 2.5, please, in case you're not seeing, let me show us perfectly well. So from here to here is where we have our 2.5. So we have 2.5 here. We are coming to this side, 2.5. So 2.5. So after this particular 2.5, we are supposed to have another 0 0.5, which are the little, little black that you'll be seeing in between. That's what our 0 0.5 represent, please. That's what it represents. So we are going to have this. Then we'll be having the last one to be two. The remaining section is going to be two. Most times, what you have as this part and this part are most times the same. Like this one, we have 1.25 here. We have 1.25 here. For this particular one, we have 2.0 here. We have 2.0 here. And this side is 2.5. Why we have this 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Now, don't forget, I told us about our strap. I told us that our strap is going to be 1.2 centimeter. Don't forget that each of the openings, you are going to be inserting two different straps. Because you are inserting two different straps, if you are using 1.2 centimeter as this your width, it means you have to create a strap of is 0 0.6 centimeter each in width so that the two of them can conveniently pass through this particular opening now for me that i created 1.2 for example i can decide to make use of is 0 0.6 or 0 0.55 centimeter for the thickness of each of my strap so that it will be easy for both of them to conveniently enter without tearing away my leather or whatever material you actually want to use for yours so please don't forget so each of these opening these are openings all these ones they are openings so we are going to create two different straps which means the total width of the two strap has to be within this 1.2 so that it can pass through conveniently so but if you choose to use just only one strap for yours fine but the design this particular design has two different straps that is suspended in between it so let me quickly finish up with the rest now i want you to understand that what happened in this first role is what will happen here what happened in this second will happen next and you are going to continue continue until you finally do the same thing all over because it's actually a continuous process what happens here will happen here 
the same thing will happen here the same thing will happen here so try to duplicate it on the remaining side so it means your first measure the next roll is going to have 1.25 it will have 2.25 it will have a 0 0.5 centimeter 2.25 centimeter and 1.5 centimeter i believe you understand that so for for you to quickly on for you to quickly get through with this you can decide to come to this side try to calculate to, to check it and know which one this one which one will be this particular one at the end here choose it and try to measure it then you can use your ruler to try to connect each of them together for you to make to, for you to be fast so you connect this together like this if you are sure if the last one here sorry for that if you are sure if the last one on this side is going to be this particular first column do the measurements and connect it so that so you connect it you see that it's here sorry i need to really adjust this so that we can see now, what I'm trying to say is this. You can see that if I'm just trying to make the job faster and easier for us. After you have done these two rows, you have to duplicate what you have here, A. Duplicate what you have here on the next one, and you will continue like that. So I'm just trying to say that get to know which of them will have this particular measurement on this side, the last one, whether it's this or this. If it's this, make sure you impute it here. If it is this one, that will be the last one here. Impute it as well. Then try to connect them together using a long meter rule so that it will be easier for you. So when you rule, make, rule this one, you move to the next one. You leave one, you move to the next one you leave one so that at the end of the day, before you know it you are totally true with all of this particular calibration it's actually a very 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 simple task if you can do it that way so i'm going to go ahead and complete it that way then show us what my final product looks like so now that i've fully you can see i have fully done my various division i have already partitioned it the next thing is we are going to be creating opening now i'm going to be using my 0.5 millimeter punch to punch all the side now the essence of this is to avoid the the, the leather from tearing off now somebody will be wondering but this is a pattern why do i have to go through that well if you want to keep this pattern and make it last the best thing to do is to ensure that you punch the edges so that by the time each time you use it it will be easy for you to just you know use those side those opening just opening it will be easy for you to use it without the pattern tearing quickly now this is a very soft paper so what i did to mine is i put it on a thicker cardboard i just get a thicker cardboard and put it you can see the way i punch it so just punch the edge to avoid it cutting off that's you can see that's what i did all around here so the next thing is just to open it open it up open it up why we now begin to insert our strap so i'm going to just go ahead and do the same thing on this one so then i'll show us how to create your strap and insert it into each of them so as you can see, I'm through with my punching. All we need to do is to join all this together. Now, before we do that, I want us to quickly create our strap. I'm just going to be showing us. Don't forget, I told us we are creating pattern in this particular tutorial. So please, I want you to see this. I told us earlier that the width of our strap is going to be 1.2 centimeter. And what that means is whatever strap you are creating must have a width of 1.2 centimeter. Now, because we are going to be having two straps suspended into each of the line of our beautiful basket weave slide, what we are going to just do is we are going to make sure that each of the strap is, is 0 0.6 centimeter. Now, if you are going to be measuring your strap, make sure you still measure your 1.2 because we are going to be folding it. I'm going to be showing us what i mean so i'm going to be creating about two straps now this is my 1.2 this is my 1.2 this place to this place is my 1.2 i'm going to come here and try to create the same thing i'm going to do the same thing this is 1.2 and this is 1.2 so let me show us what i'm trying to achieve please sorry for that I need us to really see what I'm doing. It's the pattern we are cutting for our beautiful basket. I actually call it a basket because it looks more like a basket. So I'm going to cut it out. That's the same thing you are going to be doing. You are going to make sure your leather is that width when you want to cut out. Don't forget I told us we are using two. So what you are doing at this point is you are going to fold it. You are going to fold it. Apply your gum on your leather. Fold it gently. Needed to follow me with this. I don't know if you can see what I have folded here. So we are going to fold this other side, fold this other side, fold this other side. So we are folding it close to themselves. So at the end of the day, we are going to be having this tiny strap that will be suspended into it. You can see the way it looks like. I'm sure you can see the way it looks like. So I believe you can see this much better. So I'm just, I folded it closely together like this, closely together like this. So that's what we are going to create for 
all of them so it means you are actually going to be creating a lot of these traps so you can imagine the number of straps you are going to be creating. Don't forget that we have one, two, three. Of course, the number of colon you are going to be having is, is determined by your size, the size you are working with. I actually measure 23 by 7.5 centimeter because I'm working with 39 or 38 size 39 or 38 yes that is european size 38 or 39 so it means the number of strap i'm going to be having let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so let's say we are having 15 that means i need 30 of this because two of these will be suspended into this particular side so we need 30. So let me cut another one and fold so that I can show us how to insert it into all of these plates. So finally, what we are going to be doing now is inserting our straps. I told us we are going to be inserting two, two, two. Now, the first one here is going to be going in this way. It's going to be going in. This one will be coming out, coming out of here. And then this is going to be for this side. So it means you are going to still insert another one. Now you can see that because we the one I measured is 1.2, that's why it is this wide. If you want to use 1.0, you can decide to use that as well. It means that your strap, you are going to ensure that each of them is, is 0 0.5. Please make sure you do it that way. So you can see what the first strap look like. Then the next one is going to come from the back. Going to come. So now this one I'm inserting is representing the gold. Please let me let me say that again is representing the gold. So I'm sure you can see this. I'm going to stay insert one more. Each of them are two, 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 two. two. So this one will also come out here. You have to be very careful. Don't forget this one is just the pattern. So we have to be careful with it. So to set itself it will go under now now when you finish all of this setting you can see what it looks like you can see what it looks like when you finish all of this setting you will definitely need a particular a particular strap which is the which is still this way the black part that is used to cover it up on this side so you find out that this side it seems like the gold went inside but free on this side when i insert this it will be full as well so that is just the major thing about this particular design please let me know in the comment section if you love me to actually create another video on the on the, using this pattern to create this slide please let me know in the comment section and if you're watching my channel for the first time ensure you subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell so that each time i upload a, a video you will be notified now watching this video if you look straight under this video you will see comments so you can just click and comment you can see how lovely this is and if you don't want to go through the stress of creating this and you would like to purchase this particular pattern please let me know in the comment section it's just going to go for a dollar which is about 500 naira in nigerian currency so it's just going to be a dollar if you're interested in just the pattern let me know in the comment section also let me know if you will like me to create a full video again on the letter how i use the letter and how i'm going to last it thank you so much for watching today's tutorial i'm sure you know i have an ongoing beginners class and this is day four you can still join us it's just about three thousand naira you can still join us i'm going to be giving them all of this for free this is part of the ebook that is part of the course outline that i have there so thank you so much for being part of today's tutorial and i am going to see you next time bye